One, two, three. If you've ever made a tool, sometimes you want the tool's user interface to update when you change the selection. Here I have my listener. Nothing's happening right now, but I am changing the selection. When I run this script, here's my UI, just a very basic UI with actually nothing in it. And now you can see that something is being fired. I have just a small test function, and you can see that it is returning a print statement. When I destroy this dialog, nothing happens anymore. If we bring it back, there we go. There it is again. Kill it, it goes away. So, we're going to go over the code. At the very top here, we just have our test function that's being called every time the selection changes. And down here is our rollout. It's a very simple rollout. There's actually no user interface in it whatsoever. Right here we have our on open function, or uh, sorry, it's our uh, on open event. So the moment the rollout is created, we're going to add a callback script. And the moment the rollout closes, we're going to remove that callback script. A callback script is basically a script that is executed every time a certain event within Max is fired. In this case, the event is going to be a selection set changed. Then we're going to have a string, which is the name of our function up here, which is going to be called every time this happens. And then we're going to give it an ID. This ID just helps us get rid of it after we don't need it anymore. So when we destroy the dialog, we don't want this still running in the background. Um, so as you can see, the ID is also right here and callbacks.remove scripts. This, this whole mechanism, this callback mechanism is called a general callback mechanism, which should not be confused with the change handler and when constructs. They're, they're very similar, but they're different. And I actually made the mistake of treating it like a change handler down here and trying to get the code to work, and it wouldn't work. But uh, this all works, and you should... Uh, I don't know, you should try it out. I'll put it on my website, or actually maybe if I can get away with it, I'll put it in the comments to this video. Um, that's it.